there is no stage for this, Drew. Um, I have lung cancer, stage four. I uh, intend on serving out the rest of my term, but then I will be stepping down to be with my family. I know it's a political cliche, but in this case, it happens to be true. I'm so sorry, Congressman, for you and for your family and for the people that you serve. And I know that you will be dearly missed by your colleagues in the house. Does your staff know? Does Mariel? Yes, Mariel knows and select members of my staff. I wanted to stay focused on my remaining programs and legislation. And, um, well, I want this statement not to be about pity, sentimentality, or hysteria. There's enough political spectacle to begin with. I assure you, I will see to it. I deeply saddened by this news, Congressman. I'm so, so sorry. If there's anything that I can do to help in any way, please let me know. But if I may, your term doesn't end until January of 2025. Drew, talk about being incensed. I think things are being insensitive, but I really think that this project could be your legacy for the people of your district to take a place that was previously neglected and, and, and turn it into a showpiece. Give the people of Port Charles something beautiful a place to gather by the water like this it would be such a gift not only for the people here and now but for future generations uh, go on you do still have time to push this in the house it could be your farewell piece of legislation and given your current diagnosis who's gonna vote against you When you told me that you were going into Freeman, I remember thinking to myself, I never heard you express this before, but I was so proud of you that I didn't put it together. Put what together? That it has nothing to do with Dex. Oh. Well, yeah. I mean, when Cam and I were falling apart and I was catching feelings for Dex, he got really hurt. And I stitched up his side and I had no idea what I was doing. But it was the most helpless feeling. And I remember wanting to be able to do more than just wait around and be concerned. You know, I wanted to be able to help people, especially in an emergency. And by people, you mean Dex. Well, okay, well, somebody should have known better than to discuss police business with you. But from what you just told me, I think you handled it pretty well. Yeah, I mean, somebody didn't come right out and tell me not to act on information that's my out, but, uh, you know, he sent a message. He assumes Dex is going to talk, and that is going to listen to him. He didn't ask you to interfere on an investigation. No, not yet, but he's come this far, so that's probably next. And a call this, too. How so? I chased the bachelor party. The guys were shouting Dex, and uh, I questioned the wisdom of bringing him on board to Anna. Okay. What did Anna think about that? Well, she kind of reversed it on me. And <laughs> said maybe it's what Dex could be telling us at the PCPD about her dad that, that might bother me and uh, steer clear of him and uh, didn't want to put me in a position where I'd be compromised or attempted to protect Sonny. Hey, well, there's nothing wrong with setting boundaries. Yeah, but the thing is, I, I used to set the boundaries for myself. I, I didn't need someone else to to set them for me, you know? I think that you are being too hard on yourself. Everyone in town knows that Dex worked for Sunny, and the cops they are found to be suspicious, and that does create a hostile work environment. I think it was good that you made that point to him. There's just there's one other thing that I haven't told that or you, for that matter, and that's when I found out that Dex was applying to a police academy. My first thought was, how could this hurt my father? That's not thinking like a cop, that's thinking like a son who's worried that his father's already guilty. You're using our daughter, you back in my I am protecting Donna. She shouldn't hear from her father that her mother betrayed him. Well, it sounds like you protect yourself. No, I don't want Donna involved in an adult situation that she can't possibly understand. Do you? Or poison my bitterness and resentment, Sonny. Do you think I would do that, Carl? I don't know. That I would say something against you to our daughter? I barely recognize you anymore. 